Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If it's your first time, my name is Miss Williams and you're welcome. Please subscribe before you leave. But to my old subscribers, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you all. So today's video is how to look good and how to feel good. You know, looking good is not all about wearing good clothes and wearing makeup on your face. Looking good and feeling good starts from within. If you don't feel good inside, you can never feel good outside. No matter how well you dress. So I just have some few points that I've written down here. I'm going to share with you guys. And I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just going to list out the points and then give very brief explanations under. And these are things that I feel like they work for me. They work for me. They keep me going. They keep me focused. So I'm just going to try and share with you guys as much as possible. The first point is that you must always try to have a sense of humor, no matter how small it is. Life is not that serious, guys. Don't take life too serious. Having a sense of humor will help you stay away or avoid so many things. It will help you avoid fights with people. It will help you avoid temptations that people come at you with, you know. There are times that I have seen that my sense of humor has really helped me from a situation that I was going to get into a really big fight with a friend. But just because I laugh over a situation and I just decide to stay away because I don't want to go into, you know, texting or sending insults back and forth, I just laugh and I stay away and I push you to your own side like, yeah, be there, stay there, you know, I'm here. I'm just laughing and I'm jumping and I'm passing over your shit, you know. I already have my own shit. So that's the first point. The second point I'm going to tell you is try to always change your environment. You know, it's very normal that when you've been in a place for a very long time, it becomes your comfort zone. And because it's your comfort zone, everything becomes stagnant after a point. It's the truth. I saw this meme somewhere that said that your comfort zone is a beautiful place but nothing actually grows there. When some place or somewhere becomes very comfortable to you, you don't feel the need to make progress. You don't feel the need to elevate yourself. You don't feel your, the, the need to, 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 to take a stepping stone. And what I always say is try to always change your environment. Changing your environment does not mean that you relocate to another country or you pack your things and you move to another house. No. Changing your environment might just be like taking out a break or taking a break from everything and taking a vacation, taking some days off. You must not go to Dubai, you must not go to Qatar, you must, you must not take a luxurious vacation. Just take some time off to see what other people are doing out of your comfort zone, to see how people handle things away from you, you know, to see how people live. You will always learn one or two things from them. So. That's what I mean by changing your environment. I don't say that you should carry your bags and go to Canada or to America or to the UK. No, you can stay where you are, but just take some few days off, visit a friend, maybe go to a hotel, sleep in a hotel room, stay there and reflect. You know, it always helps. The next point actually ties with this one and it's that don't be afraid to take risks. You know, life itself is a risk. So don't be scared to take that risk. Don't be scared to take that loan that can start up a business for you. Don't be scared to meet that person and talk to that person that could be the love of your life. Don't be scared to, to, to start that business venture. Everybody out here has some shit in their cupboard, you know. Everybody out here maybe has some loan that they are paying. So don't be scared to, to take that loan because you're thinking that how am I going to pay this loan. Just do it. Take the risk of taking the loan. And from there, you're going to see that it's going to be easier. You're going to figure it out. Take that first step and you're going to figure it out. Trust me. Always try to take that first step. The next point I'm going to say is that you might want to always have a book that you're reading or someone that you listen to, a motivational speaker or a pastor or a preacher or a teacher. You have people out there, people, personally, I like listening to Miles Monroe, uh, Pastor Chris, um, Bishop T.D. Jakes. These are people that are filled with wisdom. You know, they can impact so much positivity in your life that can keep you focused for a very long time. There are times that I just stay here and I feel really down. I feel like I'm hitting rock bottom for no reason. And I just tune to my Bishop T.D. Jakes, you know. Maybe I just go there to get one or two words of wisdom from him. And trust me, you always, 
you will always get something from them even if you don't listen to the whole thing if you don't like to listen and you like to read you can always go into the you can always go online and you type whatever google is your friend you know you can always go online and you type whatever you look you're looking for however you're feeling just type on google and it's gonna come out and you can read and you know you lift up your spirit for yourself by yourself and the next point is that try to always clean your environment what I mean by cleaning your environment is not only cleaning, keeping it clean physically. Of course, when you keep it clean, you always feel clean and you feel good. That makes you feel good. Clean your environment, clean your phone, clean your social media. In fact, clean your neighbors, clean everything around you. After every particular period of time, it's always necessary to clean your environment, clean your closet. For me, this is the end of the year and it's time for me to clean especially my phone my social media my photos in fact everything my closet and all that i go into my closet and everything i'm not wearing i take out i park you know it gives me air to breathe i go and i chase away all those ghost followers those people that are just there to see to monitor people those people that have monitoring spirit or is monitor spirit too. you just go there and you delete everything Go into your phone, look at those pictures. Maybe your memory is very, very, is remaining just like two jig or one jig because you have pictures of people that you don't even talk to anymore. People that you've not spoken to for the past six months. Of course, pictures are memories, but you know, there are some pictures that are useless. I beg, let's be real. There are some pictures that are useless. Delete all those things. Go to your Facebook, to your Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and all that. Delete all those people that are not useful. Your contact list, people you've not spoken to for the past one year. What are they doing in your phone? Delete them. Or are you waiting for the day that you fall in front of their door and you call them that, oh my God, I'm... no, 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 no. They, they, you will not call them, you know. So yes, just try to always keep your environment clean. That's what I mean by keeping your environment clean. And the next point is that try to keep a very small circle. Know the people you have around you, know your friends, and try to keep it small. Limit it to a very small number. That way you can know who to run to when you need what. Who to run to when you need this particular advice. And know your friends, trust your friends, and keep the trusted ones around you. And you will never have the drama of updating your status on Facebook and seeing haters, fakeness, fake friends, bad friends, and all that, you know. Which is the new um, Instagram and Facebook word now, fakeness and haters, like... I don't know. And <laughs> my last and final point is that always try to share whatever talent you have with people. Always try to share whatever you think you're good at with people. For example, my YouTube channel. I started this channel and I was just doing crap with makeup. But you know, I wanted to share the little knowledge I had and also learn from people because I I I taught myself by learning from other people that shared what they knew. So always try to share. If you have anything, you must not have a YouTube channel like me. No. You can always try to share in your WhatsApp groups. Just share with your friends. Always try to share. Sharing is caring. And when you share something with somebody that actually helps the person, the, 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 the feeling of thank you that you receive makes you very humble, motivates you, keeps you going, and makes you want to do more for yourself and for the world so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video will help you one or two persons out there give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos you let me know and drop any topic you want me to talk about if you have your own points on how to feel good and look good just leave them down in the description bar below see you in my next video stay pretty stay slain and keep smiling that's another point always smile smiling is a cure trust me it's the beginning of happiness thank you guys and bye bye